Red Level and Dell Technologies. Helping smart businesses in Metro Detroit stay ahead of the competition with hybrid cloud solutions engineered to save time, lower risk, and support future growth. Rethink business, rethink IT. Please welcome the founder of Pedal to Porch, Cornetta Lane. Good morning, Detroit. Oh, it's so great to be here. So who am I? I am a native Detroiter, a social entrepreneur, and a storyteller. And I'd like to share a story with you today. In 2014, I was scrolling through my Facebook news feed, and I came across an article that read, West Corktown, creating Detroit's newest neighborhood. And I thought the headline was peculiar because in a city as old as Detroit, how do you just create a new neighborhood? And so I clicked on the link, and the article described an area along Michigan Avenue and I-96 where this new identity was emerging. However, for families who have lived there for generations, there was absolutely nothing new about this neighborhood. In fact, we call it Core City. Core City is the place where I was raised. It was a place that I went to grade school and the place where I learned to ride my bike without training wheels. And so I was furious. I took to Facebook and I'm like, who are these people and why are they trying to rebrand my neighborhood? And uh, I got a few likes and comments, but that was pretty much it. The following year, I applied to the K880 Fellowship, which is supported by the Knight Foundation. Shout out to Katie. Uh, where 29 other innovators from across the country went to uh, Toronto um, to participate in a four-day workshop. And this is the Detroit delegation here. Uh, right? Hey. <laughs> and uh, at this workshop, we learned about what it takes to make bikeable, walkable cities, as well as the power of storytelling. And it was here that I really formed a, an idea around preserving the historical identity and integrity of my neighborhood. And I was so excited about this idea. I couldn't wait to get back home to my friends and uh, see if they would be willing to help me pull it off. So I got back home and I convened about 12 of my friends, and we were at MoCAD, sat around the table, had a couple drinks, and I said, hey guys, what if we could invite people to get on their bikes and ride from porch to porch, listening to personal narratives about the history of the neighborhood? And they were like, wow, Cornetta, that's a great idea. What are we gonna call it? And so we, my friend Kaylin came up with Core City Stories, and, uh, those same friends went with me door to door knocking because we realized not everyone has access to internet and we invited them to particip participate in the event. We recruited four storytellers and attracted about 45 people to the event. On this day, the amount of gratitude that I had was immeasurable. In fact, even to this day, I'm so in awe of the amount of support that we received for this project and I want to publicly thank Rochelle Riley for writing uh, an article about it um, and really lifting up our platform. Three things happened after the bike ride. One, the folks who started the rebrand apologized. Two, uh, people in Core City right now are organizing around challenges and opportunities. And finally, I started getting requests to host similar bike rides in other neighborhoods. And uh, I couldn't call it Core City Stories, so I decided to launch a new initiative called Pedal to Porch. Pedal to Porch uh, won the Night Cities Challenge last year. We had a $30,000 grant to not only host in Detroit, but now we're getting requests from across the country. And the whole purpose of Pedal to Porch is really to lower the barrier of connection between neighbors, because research shows that communities are more likely to bounce back from social and natural disasters when they know each other. And so really Pedal to Porch is uh, the initiative behind uh, helping communities become more resilient. So here's my power perspective. Detroit is not a blank canvas. <laughs> Meaning, if we are serious about seeing Detroit prosper, we have to do our research. We have to find out who's doing what and what exists. And uh, let's begin to create an atmosphere of mutual respect and collaboration because the future of Detroit depends on it. Thank you.